What's up guys, this is N. Hayes and welcome to episode number 2 of the custom map tutorial series. In this video I'm going to be covering world edit selection, how you get that all set up, how you can modify it, and how you can pull some basic info with some commands. This is going to be a two part video where the first part will be just covering setting up the selection and the second part will be covering what you can do once you have that selection all set up like replacing blocks, setting blocks, uh, things like that. So to get started I just want to go over the commands. I have a list here like uh, last episode and uh, the very first one is going to be the wand command. It's slash slash wand and that will give you a wooden axe. Uh, this is the main tool you will be using to set your selection. Um, left clicking with this sets your first corner point of the what is going to be the bounding box. So click there and then the right clicking will set the second point. I want to mention that I am using the world edit CUI mod. That is why this red box is showing up. It uses a green box for your first point and a blue one for your second point. Um, if this isn't showing up, it's because you don't have this installed. I highly recommend getting it. It makes uh, <clears throat> using the selection a lot easier. So once you have that selected, um, you can get rid of it by typing slash slash SEL. That will clear your selection out. Otherwise that red box will just stay there pretty much until you log out or close the game. So that's how you clear that. You can also select, set your selection in two other ways. Um, the first one is the POS command, POS1 for your first point and POS2 for your second point. It'll take the point you are currently standing on. So there's our first one and we have to go POS2. And that's another way you can get uh, a uh, selection created. You can also use uh, HPOS slash slash HPOS1 and it will use your the current block your mouse cursor is under. So if I point it down there, HPOS2, and that's the other way you can create a selection. Those are the three different ways you can create a selection to start with. Now that you have one, Let's say you want to modify the size of it or the sh or uh, yeah the size. There's a couple different ways of doing that. You can use the expand command that will expand any side of it, any direction, and it'll just go by whatever direction you're facing. So if I just look this direction, type in expand five, it expands my selection this way by five you can also type in a compass direction or up and down so if I want to do that you can just do like expand five up and it makes it go up let's clear this out a little big another command you can use with expand whoops is vert and that's a special thing that will expand your selection the horizontal shape of it from uh, sky to bedrock all the way down so it takes like a whole column of what your selection was which is kind of useful in certain situations I'm just going to get rid of that real quick so that's the expand command Let me, uh, you, there's also a contract command that works Oops, let me get this works like the expand except it's just it's opposite so it just shrinks your selection so that's the expand and contract command the next command is out <clears throat> outset which is kinda like expand except it outsets the whole selection box by a given number so all the faces are just spread out by one you can also limit that so like it only outsets it horizontally and that's dash, dash H and then your uh, value you want it. So now it just expanded all the sides out by five instead of going vertical. And you can also do the same thing with inset command 
which is like the out opposite of outset. That insets everything. And that's a good way if you like keep insetting like a huge selection. If you just want to find like a center point of a certain area, that's a good way of doing it. Just keep insetting it until it's down to like a single point and you'll know that's the exact center. I've used that trick a couple different times. So that is the inset command and outset command. The next thing I want to show is um, how to shift your selection around which is the same thing <clears throat> as like expanding except it's shift and then a number and it'll just shift it the direction you're facing just like the expand command does kind of and you can use directions whoops and you can use directions in this too so if I want to shift it like 10 up it shifts everything that way uh, this can be really helpful like say like you were building uh, like some cave thing or I don't know some building it but you wanted lava behind the walls or something you just wanted the back material and you didn't want to have to destroy all these blocks to get to it you can just click the outside wall you're like close to and then just shift your selection and it'll be one block behind it so then you can just set that with like a set command or a place command and then you can modify those blocks back there without having like any actual access to them so that's one good use of that um, the next couple commands <clears throat> are actually they will give you info about your current selection so here let me just do this real quick outset 5 the first one is the size command and that'll give you the current dimensions as you can see here and it'll give you your positions the overall size of the cube the cuboid distance which is the diagonal area I believe and then the number of blocks <clears throat> total in the selection so that can be useful I use it a lot for just finding the size whoops okay also you could use a count command if you want to find like a certain however uh, many blocks there are of a certain ID like count two it'll see how many blocks there are or uh, grass blocks there are in my selection which there are 179 I don't really use that too much because I, as I'm about to show you the next command is a distribute command which is D-I-S-T-R and it will give you the distribution of the blocks that is in your current selection with the percentage exactly what they are exactly how many there are so I do use this a lot or now nah, I wouldn't say a lot but I've used it <clears throat> in several different uh, situations where you need to know what kind of blocks are in your current selection so that's kind of helpful and that pretty much covers uh, how to set up the world selection and how to modify it and things like that. The next episode I'm going to cover what you can actually do once you have this set up like this. So uh, make sure to check that video out and I will see you guys later.